Or the guys that the daughters are like, yeah, let me know when she's 18. Hey, 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 hey. You smell like Funyuns. Get away from my family. Do you guys remember that rumor growing up? They'd be like, if you swallow gum, it will come out of your ass seven years later. Hoax. I've what was it doing in there? Chilling. Nothing. You digest it. Going to college? I've never spit out a piece of gum. I swallow every piece Shut of gum. Are you serious? Yep. The front door. Yep. Remember when teachers used to say that? Shut the front door. Oh, when they could cuss, but they oh, couldn't cuss. Shut up and go in your Corolla and drink a Mountain Dew. <laughs> I like the other one. What the flower? What the fudge? Yeah, that's good. What the fudge? Any Anyone who does that, I don't, you have kids in the basement. You know what I mean? Shut the front door. What are you trying to hide? What's the funniest one? G. Willikers? That's hilarious. G. Willikers is that's very just like, That's like Ned Flanders, like Simpsons <clears throat> type energy, you know? What the heck? Darn it. It's funny if you do it like like uh, in a sexual term, like if you're like, uh, you want to go back to my place and frick? <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers be fricking. They do. Frick. Is it friction? <laughs> yes. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's frick. No, no frick is just Words another word. Words are so stupid. Watch. I can say fuck and somebody gets offended. Or I can say yeah. frick and they're not offended. What the hell? Also, dude, you, Figure can, it out. you can say gosh darn it, not offended. God. People doing bad people, if you, if you don't c- capitalize the G in God, people get mad. Dude, my mom gets mad. Really? Literally, I'll text her with that and she's like, you need to capitalize that. Do I? Oh, yeah, well, you should salute God. Salute? Is God real? <laughs> <laughs> it's early to be jumping into this. Is it? Dude, I don't know what's happening. I don't know I either. I always feel like I don't know what's happening. What's the universe? They're like They gave me a history book in like seventh grade. I'm like, this, this, none of this happened. The Milky Way? That's a real place. <laughs> Is it? What was that fucking thing they brought up recently that NASA had all the photos? Yeah, the James That should Webb look like a tapestry in a college bitch's room. Dude, Respectful. College. Respectful, ladies. Respectfully. Respectfully. Sorry, I'm on one. Dude, respectfully, I'm a finger your girl. Can you do that? <laughs> you can say anything before respectfully. Well, that's like when people are like, not to be racist, they're like, oh, you're going to say something racist. Respectfully. Okay. Yeah. It's funny if you say that, then you're not racist. You're like, hey, not to be racist, but... Um, I like macaroni and cheese. This chair is comfortable. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. What's happening with you inside your brain? These chairs are... They feel they're so really good. They're really comfortable, dude. Yeah. I want to take MD Main and just pet them. Now I get it. Like, stroke the wall. What was that? Get him to the Greek movie? Russell Brand? Yes. Russell Brand is like a YouTuber now. What does he do? He just makes podcast bags about Get him on the podcast. podcast. Does anybody not have a podcast? Um, My cat needs a podcast. Anthony Hardwick. I'll do the ad deals for him. What would it be? Just meow? Promo code. That was him purring. That's pretty good. How fat's your cat now? Fat? I don't know. I threw that in because Greta gained a pound. She, I saw her yesterday. Don't. Bitch looking bulked no. up. No. I think looking... she's big boned it. Nah. I think she's got a barrel chest. Uh-uh. You ever Dude. meet a bitch with a barrel chest? Can't do Greta it. Greta looks like a super soaker. Hold up. <laughs> No, she just looks like you ever seen <laughs> barrel chest. Uh, no, I've seen that. Yeah, I don't like it. There's a lot of women that can beat my ass. Most. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. What? What's the hottest sport you thought about? Like, uh, like when you were in high school, were you like, oh, was it the softball girls? Was it the volleyball girls? Well, volleyball probably. Volleyball, but I'm no. Nah, throw- you're a weirdo. You're basketball. I'm a. Th- no, I wasn't. I'm a- well, dude. There was a girl named we. I, I talked about a hundred times. Lindsay Christina Mur- Scalco. Lindsay Mur- Scre- Christina Scalco had fucking bazungas, but she would. She didn't play sports. She actually did gymnastics. She played bongos. Hold up. Hold up. Bing bong bong. Where's that milk? Bing bong. Um, you know she. This is the first time I heard about it. When she was, she was very good in gymnastics. Who? Uh, Christina Scalco. Uh-huh. Really good in gymnastics, and they made her uh quit when she got bazungas. And they actually, what? yeah, they actually asked her to take Why? this pill to like eliminate the bazungas. Was it a pill for that? Yeah, like eliminate like tit? estrogen, like when they're kids. Why? Why, why what did the they hell? Want? She was in high school, and they're telling her elementary this? school. Dog. What the fuck, dude? Gymnastics she is had, a hold wild on. sport. Hold on. Oh, bags. In no, sir. She this came in weird. No, 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 no. What? Yep, huge. What do you got? What do you got under there? Sixth grade was the first time I ever saw. This girl, Jamie, showed up and she was racked out. She came back from somewhere and, and everybody like, I have a visual memory of her on the swing set and everybody was like, bro, it was like seeing a celebrity, like just having, yeah. having lunch alone. Everyone was like, yo, yeah, they're real. What happens? <clears throat> who Women be eating things during summer. What? And they, they would eat, what is that? Cornbread and they come back with tits? Oh, what oh, what oh, builds oh. tits? It's always in the summertime. What do you do? Can women do like uh, push-ups to get, you know how we do push-ups to get our tits bigger? If women do push-ups, do they get their tits bigger? Because is, is it muscle or just, what is that in there? What is it? What is Liquid? cartilage? That's fake bone? 
I think it's bone. Is, I think it's bone that does. My uh, dad yoga. is a metal hip. <laughs> What'd you just say to me? <laughs> my dad is a metal hip. Does he? Yeah, he yes. had surgery. Terminator ass. <laughs> Right? Every time he goes to TSA, it's like, beep, 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 beep. Does it really? I got a metal hip. And they're like, I got you. For real? Yep. That's what I'm going to say next time. Dude, his dick was so hard, he made the metal detector go off. Two chains. I mean, that's wild. Even better, his first rap name was Titty Boy. Don't like it. I love it. We said this 600 times in the podcast, and I'll say it again. I don't care. We've had the same conversation. Doesn't matter. Titty Boy. Weird. That's hilarious. Uh, Not if you don't like tits. It's so weird. It's funny that he spelled the B O I. Like, Titty, did he? Titty boy? If he did like titty B O I, that's a little strange. Yeah. What were we talking about? The Milky Way. Uh, oh, you were talking about how to sport. Oh, Bro- how to sport. I'm gonna throw a weird one at you. Um, in my school, the field hockey women. What? Had ass, and they wore these like little skirts, the field hockey skirts. Field hockey. And let me tell you something. They used to they used to like uh, push a ball around with a stick. Hey, how do I become that Wait, ball? What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, what is the difference between there field hockey and lacrosse? Oh, it's lacrosse on ground? Yeah. Feet, ground. <laughs> they, <laughs> they, uh, field hockey. Just type field hockey hot women or something, because this is just, this just looks is like. Is there like a professional league of this? Yeah, it's a strip club. Field hockey hot women. There oh, we go. God, this. Okay. See? Dude, they're playing with like a giant, like, you know, when, you, no, you know oh. when M&Ms come out with like a candy cane, like a big yeah. one? That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty field hockey. That we didn't have field hockey. We had softball and nutrition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we had softball and basketball. And I think golf was co ed. We had tennis. No, that was co ed. Tennis, tennis is hot outfit. Tennis, tennis was hot. Oh, and they go Tennis is hot. <laughs> I, heard that, you, I could jerk off of that. I heard you playing yesterday. You were letting out the uh uh-huh. uh yeah, I like what it. is what is that all about? It it like releases, like when, it releases tension. I don't know. Those release intentions. Jerking off? Oh, I was mixing a oh. pina colada. Oh, you don't, with you my don't know cock. how to make a pina colada. Penis. You don't do that. What? You don't make a pina colada like this. You put this pina colada in a blender. Blender. Yeah. You, you, could, you could shake a blender. Can you imagine shaking a motherfucking blender? Anyway, I'd like to bring this up real quick. Oh, my bad. You have something? No. Oh. <laughs> 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 there is, and I, I failed to remember her name. There's this track star, international track star. Son, it, it, she is so beautiful. It, I can't look at her pictures. It like, and then she's track, like, sir Gabriel. Bring it up, and you're gonna you're gonna eat that I'll word. Take horny for five hundred. Bring it up, dude. It is. Are people still playing Jeopardy? No. <laughs> I mean, game shows are hilarious. Yeah, they're like spin this wheel. Here's six hundred bucks, and you win a car, and you have to pay or, the taxes. They're like, do you want to be in the audience for the Price Is Right? <laughs> I mean, you have to be from Nebraska. Your fucking your your blood type is cheese whiz. These fucking idiots. No. Man, I'm just joking, guys. Did you say she's not American? I, no, she's not. Track star, hot. She's like, yeah, she's like, she's blonde. Track star, just type oh, in. They said she's blind. I was like, impressive. <laughs> yep, that's her. Is it? There's a list for this. There's 25 of the this top a, hottest female track and field athletes. What fucking idiot wrote this? Idiot? What are you talking about? This guy wrote it. Didn't he? Didn't use his hands to write. I'll tell you oh, what. Hold up. Yeah. Number 23. Anna oh. Claudia Lemon. Le, 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 Lemos. I don't How come know. your brain sees words and sometimes like, nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm that. good. All what? these women would beat my ass. All these women <laughs> could eat mine. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we're looking for a blonde woman. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, dude, go down. Eleven got delt. Yeah. Deltoids. How come deltoids and altoids don't collab? (laughs) Is that her? I don't think so. What in the absolute? Do you guys know who uh, Jen Selter is? She was like the first person to pop off on Instagram for having that ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Where's one? Is that her? That's her. Ivana That's her. Dedic. Ivana Dedic? That's her. Ivana Dedic, my dick. Can she's, I say that? She's never heard that. You don't think so? Uh, What is she? she, she her hot. name is Austin. literally Ivana Dedic. It's like an Austin Powers. What girl. the oh fuck? Oh my God, you're right. Ivana Dedic? <laughs> That's her name. That is an Austin Powers type name. Yeah. Oh my Ivana God. Ivana Dedic. DM mean, her right now. Say that. She won't <laughs> understand it. 
give it to she me. She will be like, wow, what is this? Is this guy hitting on me? No, what am I doing? Anyways. Also, breaking news. Uh, 2 chains uh, spells Titty Boy T-I-T-Y-B-O-I. So only one T and or two T's in ah, Titty. Yeah. Maybe it's for legality reasons. <laughs> <laughs> this one gets sued by Titty. Titty! Can, can you just put a trademark on anything? Yeah. Really? It, well, what if I just trademarked the? It just bagged out every time someone wrote the. Can someone own a color? People can own stars, and that's pretty funny. That's so dumb. They don't own it anyways. They spend six dollars, and that six dollars goes to some congressman yeah. that does coke off a fucking small boy's cock. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times on the show, I check out for a second, and then I come back in on the wrong moment, and I came back in on congressman and a small boy's cock. What about when they're like, oh, we're gonna? You know what I mean, though. No. The, yeah, the money doesn't go anywhere. What? But what about? <sighs> Where does it go? To help Ven the roads? Venmo? <laughs> You're saying things now. What are, you know when they're like, we're going to plant a tree for you? Where are those trees? They're not here. <laughs> Everything's a scam. Why is that? The Red Cross is That's not real. That's what I was just going to say. Recycling's they not real. <laughs> What's real? Birds? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Realistically. What is Are water? any charities real? The crazy part is people make money off charities. Yeah. I thought... As a youngin, uh, every dollar is donated. Nah. No, they go, oh, operational cost. Really? <laughs> Ketamine's an operational you cost? You have four Bugattis. Yeah, you're just, you were just in Baba Baba Brazil. Yeah, the people of the CEOs of these, they need to show up in an old beat Toyota Tercel named Michael Blaustein. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so weird that they're like fucking bagged out, but they're like, I donate everything. You should donate. I don't know. I don't like when I show up at the fucking, I'm just trying to get something at the right day. And they're like, hey, do you want six cents for a dead puppy? And I'm like, it's already dead. What? That's happened? No. but like, I don't like this. This happened recently. I don't like when you valet your car and your car is in eyesight when you go to pick it up. You know what I'm talking about? Have you ever had that? Do oh, you go you to the valet stand? You want anything? Well, no, no. But like like this, the I go to the guy, you're like, oh, okay, here's the money for the valet. And then he gives me the keys. And he goes, it's right there. It's literally like maybe like. If you were to throw a paper airplane, like a shitty one distance, like, like it was like 10 feet away. And so, like, so are you, so you're saying, that make, you'd rather let me see like, the dude jog. I get it. Work I get for it. it. Yeah. But let what me you, see a little pep in the step because all he did was like, I pulled up and then he just parked like, like literally a spot ahead of where the valet stand was. Are you saying that you don't want to tip him for that? Or are you saying, why the fuck does it cost money? All the above. I, right. I just feel like it's like valet in your head is like this illusion where you're like, I don't know where my car is going, but it's probably a nice parking lot. But like, then when they give you the keys and they're like, oh, it's right here. You're like, well, yeah, I need you. To, oh, I understand. Like, 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 like do a thing. Well, but because it's like you're paying like fucking 20 bucks. I'm like, dude, if I would have known, it's just going to be like, I don't know. Does that not feel Have you ever had that? I, I understand. Goes, yeah. Here's your keys. It's right there. I don't like it's right there. Drive it to me. <laughs> Get in, reverse, break, stop, open. God damn. Trevor Walsh is doing stand-up comedy in Calgary, Alberta, August 11th through the 13th. I'm well, going to be in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, it's me, Michael Blaustein, Tom Segura, all three equally famous people <laughs> uh, doing the Great Outdoors Comedy Festival. It's going to be fucking awesome. It's a Sunday, August 14th. Then I'm going to be in Las Vegas, August 27th at the <laughs> Mirage. Dude. <laughs> Tickets are moving on that at the Mirage. That's fucking insane. What am I doing? Fucking living it up, dog. Pat myself on the back, dude. Madison, Wisconsin. Uh... September 1st through the 3rd, Labor Day weekend. Madison, Wisconsin, September 1st through the 3rd. Tickets are fucking moving. Oxnard, California, my hometown shows. 805, baby, pull up. Dude, September 16th through the 18th, five shows. Pull up. Houston, Texas, another five shows. November 4th through the 6th. Pull upwards, dude. More dates coming soon. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Michael Blaustein, where are you going to be at? I'll tell you where they're going to be at. BlaustainComedy.com to get tickets at what cities? Oh, I'll tell you. We're going to be in Chicago August 4th to the 6th. Those tickets are a freaking moving. I'm going to be in Brea, California August 11th. Vancouver, BC August 12th. Edmonton with the big old Mr. Wallace and Tom Segura August 14th. August 24th, I'll be in Oxnard, California. Um, I'll be in Tempe, Arizona. Jonah, those tickets are crazy moving, thank God. September 8th through the 10th, uh, Madison, Wisconsin. September 22nd, Milwaukee Theater Boy, Milwaukee. September 23rd, and Denver, October 16th. Guys, there's more freaking dates. Go look at them. I'm going to stop there. Blau Comedy, 
Gabe.com. Go get them. Gabe, you know what to do. I'll do it first. God damn. So you probably heard about microdosing, uh-huh. huh? Have you? I have. Well, you just did right now. Whoa. Uh, it's to people all over the world are microdosing to feel healthier and perform better. I don't know if you know that. And today we're sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies deliver a perfect entry level dose of THC that helps you feel just the right amount of good, man. Because I don't know about you, but when I uh, smoke or take some gummies, your boy is high, high, high. Oh, yeah. Mount Everest high. Too high. High. People are like, what's your name? I'm like, I'm a Cinnabon. That's not even the right answer to the question. Too high. Sounds delicious. <laughs> so good. Um, but that's why these microdose gummies are incredible, dude. I've had them. It makes you feel freaking creative. It also, dude, you take it like, you know, a little bit before you go to sleep. Sleep like a baby. Like a baby. Wah, wah, wah. God, God, go to bed. We it can... is nice. Dude. I mean, dude, they literally have... Such a great deal for you, and it's on the easiest website to remember ever. What is it? Microdose.com. You know I mean, why? talk about SEO. Search engine octopus. Is Optimi- that not right? Optimization. Optimization. Yeah. Okay. Microdose.com. Squid eel optimization. Squid's good. Nope. You know what else is good? What? Microdosing gummies. Here we go. Go to microdose.com and use promo code SOCKS. Socks. For free shipping and 30% off your first order. One more 30% time. off? 30% off. Huh? Microdose is a good deal, dude. Whoa. Save your money back. Let me ask you a question. Microdose.com. How, how much is shipping? Free. Whoa. And then 30% how much? off. Huh? You heard it. Links can be found in show description. Description. But again, that's microdose.com and code. Dot com. Socks. Socks. God damn. I didn't tell you this. Hold on. You know, remember, remember when you had a record? That you didn't think I could break? Yeah. Remember that record? The sexual record of how fast I could get a NUT off? Yeah. So your record, how quick you could CUM, 41 is 41 seconds. seconds. 41 seconds. And remember I said, you ain't shit I could beat That's that like record? That's like a bird scooter, zero to 60, by the way. Yeah. Bird scooters, fast. They top out at 17. Is it only 17? 17. So- your record is 41 seconds. Yeah. Came. Look at it split. 41. And my girl. You attempted. Oh. Day, night. And it wasn't night. even my idea. Hold up. Yeah. So I'm going to break this down for you because I know, I know where it came from. Your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Straight from the source. Farm to table. That is. Come as farm to table. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's literally what it is. Yeah. Are all cocks just farm animals? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Court dismissed. Goodbye. Yours is 41 seconds. Yeah. So I was, uh, it was late. It was with my girl. It was late. This was like three days ago. And uh, and I don't know. She got into the bed. Where, you know those long t-shirts that cover the knees and you're like, hey, what's under there? Yeah. I know what's under there. Yeah. But it's something about the long shirts. She got in. Like it was an oversized shirt or it was like some grandma type shit? Oh, oversized shirt. Okay, okay. Oversized shirt. She actually was wearing a, a goddamn shirt that a fan gave us. But what size shirt do you wear? Small? No, I wear me. Fucking what? <laughs> <laughs> Who shirt? Was it your shirt? No, it was, a, it was one of those goddamn shirts that a fan gave us like a while ago. Oh, I thought she was wearing like an XL, XL shirt. And you're like, oh, oh cool. Who's Who, that? Yeah. And why does it say Seahawks on it? <laughs> <laughs> um... <clears throat> So I was like, oh shit, all right, let's, okay. And then she just got out of the shower, you know that out of the shower smell? And her hair's damp, something about damp hair making my dick hard. I don't know what it is. <laughs> There's a theme on this podcast that things make you erect. Is this true? Yeah. <laughs> hearie, hearie. So. Gavel, gavel. And then she does the, put the butt in my, in my, you know, do a little swish swash. So I'm like, it's on. So I start kissing and it's late. And my girl goes to bed pretty early. It's like 12 o'clock already. 12 so, what? Tw- I don't know. 12 o'clock. That's what Title. I said. Title. Title. 12 o'clock? 12 o'clock. <laughs> 12 o'clock. Cock starts at noon. So we start making out. I get a little hoo-hoo. That's me fingering whoever's listening, right? <laughs> and then she goes. Did you click in the elevator? She, <laughs> she goes, you want to see if you could beat Trevor's record? And first of all, don't say, my don't name. say <laughs> another man's name. But 
I I didn't I didn't think about that though right now. Yeah, she should have been like T Daddy. Let's be real. Right. She should <laughs> she could have just said Daddy, and I was like, oh, you should talk about Trevor. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. So Did I was you like, get more or less erect? That more, time. more, because because she said it to me hot. Yeah. And yeah, then I was like, yeah. oh, this is the perfect time. No, 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 on my name. Oh yeah, it was because of your name that okay, I was hard. Cool, cool, cool. And then she Most goes, she goes, hey Alexa. <laughs> set timer and she said it so hot like looking at me in the eyes like hey alexa set timer alexa just like <laughs> what's funny is i thought that she was gonna put on music and then oh. i'd be like oh cheating cheating you're gonna put on boys to men and fuck cheating no that's cheating that's cheating yeah so i was already i was already so, so like straight up alexa starts timer and then you just bing 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 so she Cool. Well, she didn't. She goes. Alexa, start timer. It didn't. The Alexa like didn't start because sometimes it sucks. And I go, hold on, hold on, hold on. And we like walk through like what's legal here because no one was. There was no fucking yet. Nobody like my dick wasn't moisted. She, moisted. I had no moisture. You got a salamander cock? Maybe. <laughs> Salamanders. I want to be one of those. You could. All right, so the you don't know the rules, <clears throat> right? So we're like, what can we do to preheat the oven? Because you can't just go in, right? I got to preheat, and then I was like, all right, what's legal to preheat? I don't mm. want to break this. I don't want to like gavel. Yeah, I don't want to like fuck the record up. So I give her a little bit more fingering to get her ready, right? She sucks my PP, my penile injection. That's what I call my cock for like, I would say, a minute. Are we fine here? Are we still? Is everything still legal here? Mm. Sucks on me for one minute. Seems like Just to get me fully yeah, erect? That, that might be a little... What? That well, can you recap little. what you... Like, yeah, what you said you said you did pre-stuff. No, but you, he said, you said yours is literally just like a, a that, 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 like three... Yeah, I think it was a little spit on the old hand uh -huh. and, uh, you know, it was like if you were to wash off an apple. You know, a little bit of water, and you kind of, you just put it in your mouth. All right. I never wash fruit. Really? Yeah. Is that why I have two cocks? <laughs> uh, no. So, oh, okay. One minute. Look, it wasn't. It wasn't like bleh, lot, bleh. a lot of spit. A lot of what's going on. It here? was just like it was like a normal Walk range of cocks do it on sucking. Me. Okay. <laughs> just like, it, you know, it wasn't like some pornographic like blah, 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 spit. It was just like let's get the let's get hard let's and let's get, get it started. In here. They so said full on the uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. wow black eyed peas. Well, hey. Anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're ready to go. In. <clears throat> One minute. Yeah. And. Uh, Did you feel any sensations in that where you're like, oh, the buildup's there? No, it was just to get me hard and to get my cock wet so I can put it in there and go to town. Because I wasn't fully erect. Mm -hmm. Right. So I put it in there, dude. Do you want to guess my record? Because I slaughtered your record. No. Sir. Slaughtered it. There's no way. I think I could have, I think I, I think I could have done it before. So when did she say start the record after the well, top had, off? Well, she, she said it before and then we had to restart the timer. Hmm. And this time we used my phone. So my phone was like on the pillow next to it. I'm going to go with 32 seconds. Close. Really? 27. What? 27 seconds. What? Blew my load. Whoa. Everywhere, wow! And went to sleep. Twenty-seven second. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you. This is really nice. <laughs> I think I could. I think I could be my own record. Really? Yeah. What? Uh, what position? What? Where were you? What? Missionary, Pound Town, Missionary, and like fucking MGK, <laughs> MGK. Yeah, but you're in shape. Okay. I'm not. So what, you have to give you a few seconds? It's like a handicap in golf? Yeah, I got to do some P90, P90X. P ninety Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Tw I mean, yeah, well, that's crazy. I mean, that's... That's years of training in a closet. Yeah, well, true. How many yeah. how many pumps would you estimate? Were you going to pump per second? That's too slow. I mean, I... I like that. I would say... Uh, 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 oh, wow. Those are like passionate uh, hits. Uh, 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 uh. Bah, bah, bah. Like Did that. you film it by chance? I wish. Pull it up. <laughs> I wish I filmed it. I was so yeah. proud of myself. I And again, I think I can get under that. Really? I think I had 20 seconds. I think I held back a bit because I was embarrassed. And here's, really? here's the funny thing about the whole situation. The, and I know the reason that she brought it up. It's because she didn't want a whole thing 
because it was so late. So she's like, yeah, oh, cool. Oh, let's play a game. Come. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. okay. Which is okay. fine. But she said it hot. She actually said it for real hot. She said after sex, she was like, I was surprised I said Alexis said the timer so hot. Like she was yeah. like proud of herself. Did she enjoy this 27 she seconds? Said, here's the funny thing. She said that she's like, I'm actually surprised I enjoyed myself. And I was like, oh, is this what it feels like when a guy comes too fast? Because it's always the guy feeling bad and always the girl being like, oh, no, it actually like felt good. And I felt good. Like, sure. Sure, it feels good. But like 27 seconds. It's kind of just a flash of an eye. You know, it's like waiting at a red light. You're like, yeah. It's also like all this buildup. Like if you go out with it like a dude, you know, oh, get yeah. some tilapia. But you've never been there? You've never been? Not in my adult life. I mean, I came hilariously fast fucking 48 times when I was younger. Never in my adult life. Dude, I brought numbing cream to my with around in my pocket. 24 hours a day. I literally go, phone, keys, numbing cream. Just in going, my pocket. Just going to get ice cream. You no, no cream? if I was going to like a bar or a club. And gotcha. like sex was like in the ecosystem. I would numbing spray. Numbing spray. And I would get, I would start making out for like a couple minutes. And I would like get hard and I'd be like, oh, I need to pee. Every time. And I'd just go in the bathroom. Would it taste spray money cream. I would make sure that I put it in her. In my dumb, like freshman in college brain, I was like, oh, if I put it in her first, then it'll get rid of the taste of it if she mm. happens to like want to go down. So you went straight from pain, just straight into her. Um, I mean, I didn't like jump from the right, bathroom, but but but, uh, but the yeah, zing zing. Yeah, but I would yeah, like okay. I would spray it down mm -hmm. in the bathroom, come mm -hmm. out. And then, like, you know, get him back, get back into it, making out, fingering, whatever. And then, and then, you know, put it in. But the worst was when she made you wear a condom. Cause then it's like numbing cream and condom never came. Yeah, you're not coming. You, it, it, you're not it's, coming. No. That's a quarantine for your penis, actually. <laughs> Can't leave the condom for two weeks. <clears throat> yeah. But 27 yeah. seconds, fucking crushed it. Feeling good. That's insane, man. I wish I'm. I'm sorry I didn't give you the the standing ovation. I'm. I'm just in disbelief. Twenty seven. Wow. I'll call fucking like mama right now. Are you sure it wasn't like two minutes and seven seconds? No, twenty seven. Liggity split. Wow. Yeah. That is. That is impressive. I think. I think she. I think she for real enjoyed it. You don't think she did? No, I was just thinking what else you can do in twenty seven seconds. You can't even heat up water in 27 seconds. You can't toast a, a piece of bread in 27 seconds. Fast. Can you do anything in 27 seconds? Probably. You, you could, can't uh, do anything to completion in 27 seconds. No. You could, I feel like uh, if you're doing like nachos in the microwave, the cheese will get decently melted in 27 seconds. There's no middle ground on that. It's either that or it's like that like lava asphalt mm -hmm. just to the plate. Oh, yeah, and it's just completely stuck on it, dried up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's That snack was the after school that, snack, though. Oh, my God. That yeah. snack is. Underrated. How do you feel about people who put ketchup all over their fries instead of dipping it? I hate them. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. Insane. It's like, what are we doing? But, but, but what's even weirder? That, like, you just make a little pool in the, in the corner and dip it, right? That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Well, how about the people that do individual little key bumps of ketchup for each one? They take the, the fry out and they put it on individually each bite. Yeah. How do you, you feel should, about you that? Should have, you should be, have to go to the doctor's office and get a vasectomy. <laughs> Sorry, I put ketchup on every fry, sir. Goodbye. No more, no kids. All over is just so interesting to me. Like, like warm ketchup. Bitches ain't meatloaf. I love meatloaf. F I got meatloaf two nights ago from fuck? Vons. I got a little, dude, I brought, <laughs> I brought. I was this the night you came quick? Hey, what? No, it was different. It was a different night. I don't remember. Time is of the essence. What's that mean? Who cares? Um, Whoa, if you, if you cut, hold on, hold on. What? You can make meatloaf meat toast. Right? Cut meatloaf and then put it in the toaster. Meat toast. What if you cut a piece of... That's pretty good. What if you cut a piece of meatloaf and then put it in the air fryer? What happens then? Meat toast. Really? Meat toast. Dude, avocado toast. I mean, whoever invented that, holy shit. It's good, but you got to add to it. You got to nope. add a little bit of like yeah. chili flakes, what lime. About, lime's good. What about a goddamn egg? Egg, for sure. Sunny side up egg on anything is phenomenal. Sunny side up egg on a goddamn piece of meatloaf. Put it in a burger. 
Put it in. Fuck a, it. Why not, dude? You take one bite, it comes all over your hand. It's burning hot. You're pissed at like the waiter. That. I don't like that. Yeah, part. I don't like. I don't. You have to gently get into the yolk, and then it just like oozes out. It's a mess everywhere. In hindsight, it, like it always makes sense in your head, but then there's just, it's all over. I yeah. And I'll still do it. <clears throat> yeah. I like it on rice because then it just <gasps> it falls into all the rice and it yes. collects it. Yes. Little collects it. Dude, they have this thing in Hawaii that's called a loco moco. Have you ever seen this? No. I said it the widest way you could ever say it, loco moco. But it's 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 what the surfers used to eat back in the day. I think you would fuck with it. I like this think. meal is like couldn't be more up our alley of just like I'm a stupid idiot male who yep. needs protein in my body. Yep. It's rice, burger, patty, eggs, and gravy on top. Just looks oh, so good. dude, fuck, that's that like, looks so good. That's like, like just got a nut off, boom. Just went surfing, boom. Just to stand up, boom. Just ate one of those, boom. Yeah, dude, I have that like is that's the locomoco. I had like three of them last time I was in Hawaii. So oh, what, I'm in Hawaii right now, technically. What is the that's gravy? The brown? gravy, gravy. Yeah. How do you make gravy? Do you just use like a little packet? Like all of that is uh, very makeable. The gravy is like where I the forget. fuck do you get it's, gravy from? It's a lot of flour actually, which I shouldn't be eating because gluten. Uh oh. But them boys fucking hitting. Those those are oh, great. And there's so many, you know, there's so many versions of it now. There's like gourmet ones or blah blah blah. But like. Yeah. You put an egg on that bitch and you're like, call me Seymour Hoffman. We popping off. Seymour Hoffman. Who is that? He was a great actor. R. Philip yeah. Seymour R.I.P. He passed? Dude. Yeah. Well, don't yeah. call me Philip Seymour Hoffman. True. He was a great actor though. Turn up. He was but he that, loved acting. Loved heroin more. Mm, mm. Mm. I know a guy. Hey, Gabriel. Hey, a- Gabe, I love you. You're such a wholesome <clears throat> man. It's hey. really wild. You the bring fact- the same endorphins to me is when i see a, a dog wagging its tail that's uh that's very kind i like yeah. that yeah you know like we see a dog sitting in the shape of its wagging its tail you're like that's a fucking yeah hell yeah yeah hell yeah unless it's greta and you're like shut up i will say when i i was at um Cop game. no i was at uh I'm wherever the hell out. yesterday your lady's house yeah and i was in the kitchen and i looked down and Gigi, your dog was just on her back yeah, just looking for it. Just looking for a little belly rub. Yeah, she was a passion. Is that what that is called? Yeah, it's called a passion. Passion is a belly rub. Yeah, a little passion right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she she just on her back. She needs a little passion. You just rub her stomach. Yeah, they go, hey, you captain, I love you. Oh uh, yeah, it had yeah. to be a little rub. Yeah, did you get it? I uh, rubbed it. One? Yes, rubbed it. rubbed it. Yeah. Oh, you have to. If you see a dog on his back, it's yeah. like mandatory. It'd be like, oh, all right. Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. Stop whatever you're doing, you know? Sometimes when I'm hard, I feel like a dog on my back. Hey, what? someone rub me. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused at first, but I see where we're going. You got it. Um, but that meal right there is everything. My, like, go-to meal when I'm just, like, busy and in the middle of shit, it's frozen rice from Trader Joe's, an egg, and a motherfucking, uh, like, a pre-made sausage you just chop up and throw in the, in the, fr- in That's the, great. In the pan. It's so much sodium. It's not great for you. There's uh-huh. no nothing healthy. But you're like, I got carbs, man, fucking egg, <laughs> and fucking sausage. But it just feels like you're like, I, I ate. I did the thing. Yeah, I'm I, full for hours. Dude, I deep throated two chicken sausages huh? on the way here. My eating is fucking awful. Yeah, no, you you are an interesting eater. I put two chicken sausages in a goddamn paper towel, 45 seconds in the microwave, put it in a Tupperware. Put a barbecue sauce in the corner of it. And when I was driving here, I was dunking lukewarm chicken sausages in barbecue sauce and eating them. Like those big ones, like the ones they serve at Costco? Like those hot- Sir, this, like a, like my. You were just, gla- it's National Hot Dog I, that's Day. That's what I'm saying, yeah. You were just glazed up. Yeah. On, just glazed up on the 405. And I'm gonna be honest, the, the chicken sausages were mango flavored and with the uh, barbecue sauce flavor, the, it was fucking good. It tastes like stepdad. Yep. Did yeah, I, tell you I, my mean, step, did I tell you, ever tell you my stepdad used to like walk in and I was taking a, taking a, uh, like in the bathroom and then stay too long? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he stay didn't Stay too long. What do you mean? He would just walk in and be like, how's the temperature? <laughs> <laughs> no, he would like, he would like, we'd be like shitting and he'd walk in and be like, oh, you know how you walk in? I had a in? dream that you told me this. Maybe you did. Did I tell you guys? I'm, yeah. Yeah, it would, but he would walk in. Or do you have a stand about this or something? No, I, don't know, no, no. I, don't know. I think I said this before. But yeah, he would walk in. I got to sneeze. It'll come soon. Oh, I didn't say that when come. I went 27 seconds. That's, I mean, I got 20 pumps. It's in. impressive. I'm hurt. I'm, I'm bad. But I'm, here's the thing. I'm going to go into training. Yeah. And I'm going I'm to come back. Stronger. 
I'll, I'll, I'm gonna get nine seconds. I'm telling you, dude. But we can we we just really, really need to set the parameters here. Yeah. Well, it it needs to be officiated by Gabe. Yep. Everyone has their pants off. Yep. Everyone's blindfolded, and then you go three, two, one, rip the blindfold off. You see you later, and you go, and you just see. I think we should all go in separate rooms and then see how fast we can come. Big pause. Oh, jerk off. Jerk off. Oh yeah. God damn. <laughs> If you smoke cigarettes or are addicted to vaping, listen here. Because this ad is hotter than Madison Beer. Bars. Bars. Gabe, you smoke cigarettes or vape yeah. or yeah, inhale I, nicotine? I'm a, I'm a nicotine guy. I'm a vape guy. Uh, Whoa. My Sick. girlfriend's a, was a, as a, she's an ex-smoker. She just quit smoking cigarettes three weeks ago. Uh-oh. It I'm was, sure the house life is so fun. Man, it was rough. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a hard thing to quit smoking. You know, you get people get so addicted to it. You don't know that it's going to be like that. But and, uh, that's funny, Gabe, because you told me she started using fume. Yeah. Thank and what God is that? I, we would have been uh, I would have been dead if it wasn't for this. Fume is cool, man. It's a uh, it's a natural inhaler designed for a better, safer and natural way to quit cigarettes. It's no smoke, no vape, no nicotine replacement for that hand to mouth habit of smoking, which is so much of it is like. Over and over again, just yeah. like bringing the cigarette up. Yeah, you know? it's just the motion that people are addicted to. Yeah, and, and a lot of these things, a lot of these like uh, things that make you not smoke, they look stupid. Okay, no, but this one looks fume. like a wooden whistle. Yeah, dude, it looks fume. like you can bird call a bird. <laughs> yeah, I actually saw these on TikTok before they were sponsored here, but it's like somebody else was like in all the comments, like, "Yo, where do I get this? What do I get? But it's like this little wooden whistle, and then you put in this uh, this little packet. And it's like a flavor. They have like they have like mint, or they have like other mm -hmm. like lavender X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Um, and you, you just hit it. You just freaking hit it, dude, buddy. And they but, got but there's no there's nothing in it. Yeah, no. So it's it, just the motion. So it eliminates that feeling of like I need to put something in my hand. I need to inhale. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And quitting is tough, but fume really can help. All right. They've got thousands of five star reviews from smokers who have tried everything else, and this freaking worked. So like yeah, I dude. said, man, is like yeah, my girlfriend tried it. This made it. You know, it just makes it a lot easier. You know, yeah, having yeah. a it's it's gonna be hard anyway. But this this uh this, she said it tastes great. It just helps with that craving. So big. And fan here's the thing: we fly all the time, dude. Okay. And uh, being able to and you can fume on a freaking air plane which is anywhere wild, okay there's and no smoke that comes out no it's so, literally just like but you hit the mint and it feels like a menthol so exactly, you feel like you're doing dude. it dude all right so whether you're a smoker or an ex-smoker who's or you're still just fucking bored all right whether you are a smoker or an ex-smoker who still struggles with cravings fume is the perfect tool for you head to breathefume.com backslash socks and use promo code socks to save 10 percent off your entire order holy crap that's a lot of money that is 10 percent off your entire order when you head to breathe Fume.com backslash socks. That is B R E A T H E F U M dot com slash socks and use code socks. Yeah, breathe and then it's spelled F U M. Yep. It's like cum, but with an F. Exactly. Breathe cum. Breathe cum. <laughs> God damn. Let me ask you this. Yeah. What do you think the like the next generate like the next iteration of DMs are gonna be? Because at some point. Like what? How many years of DMs slide into the DMs are we in? At least five, six, seven years of this. Right? There's gonna be some like uh, puzzle. We got to arrange shit. It's gonna be work for it. Like a Hellraiser puzzle. Some like, right. it, like it's gonna be a bunch of like uh, <clears throat> shapes, and you got to plug it in. You got to work for it. You know. Well, that. That's or what you, okay. You're just gonna communicate with your cock. Like a gavel. Wow. The shapes. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like they're or they're gonna make an app that's strictly for DMs, but like the app doesn't show up on your iPhone. It's gonna be terrible. It's not gonna. Be, I don't. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I think um, <clears throat> it, it like TikTok is open for it. It's just you have to follow the person to even slide in. So it just it's not great for that. Cause that's the best part about the DM is like you don't have to. No one has to follow you to just send a fucking message. Right. So it needs to be something like that. Um, but, you, uh, you were but, saying like the, the metaverse shit I think that's probably but do you think it's gonna be like just straight wit, like written shit like like what you're alluding to is like TikTok needs to let me send a message but it like what's like the next level of it you know oh level I was I, well the level's hilarious <clears throat> I was just thinking of like where what's the next app that is going to do that it's just gonna be like a mood ring color you send somebody green you're like I'm envious of your money and I wanna fuck here's the thing you think everyone fuck? You know those uh, things on the airplane where you can like literally talk to seat F sixteen down there, or whatever. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. You think anyone's ever fucked off that? Yeah. 
Oh. What are you think, right? Hey, this flight's weird. Are you horny? I need peanuts. I ain't talking legumes. What are they yeah, called? Legumes. Did I get it? You got it. Uh, it started off a little slow. It's okay. All right. We got there. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Do you think anybody has ever walked? This is funny. They walked. I love how I said this is funny before I said it. <laughs> but do you think anybody's ever walked down the aisle, just down bad, drunk, just looking at women like, trying to fuck? Trying to fuck? Trying to fuck? Oh, 100%. To fuck? You need to fuck? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Maybe. I walked past this stewardess uh, when I was in Vegas getting off the flight, and she was like, oh, he just kept asking me for my number. They probably do get hit on a lot. Oh, it's annoying. Oh, yeah. Hey, do you need some pretzels? Also, else for you. I don't live here. I live in Atlanta. Uh-huh. We're in Fort Collins. We're the. I'm dropping you off. Like, we're not compatible. No. What do you think about long distance? Dumb? Too long. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am yeah, I borderline know. doing long distance right now. Borderline. You're doing the LA long distance. Dude, we are moving in. Wait, I, how, how long is the drive? Like 40, 50 minutes? Like 50, probably average about 50 minutes. That pissed me off. Every, dude, do you understand that my last car, I mean, obviously miles of pandemic. You've been putting miles on this bitch. Miles, dog. Miles. So, like, Who I look, goes to whose place more often? She probably goes to my place more often. Okay, okay. Um, But miles, though. I look down on my speedometer. I'm like almost, I'm o- almost over my allotted amount of miles. For the year? For the year. How much more time do you have till the year's up? Uh, probably just, like, probably two weeks. Oh, you're yeah, good. I'm, I'm close. I'm fine. I'm fine. But I've just I've never gotten close though. That's the reason I bring. bring yeah, it up. my last car like I had so many more miles, and this car is just like and I dude dude it adds up. When I used to live in Studio City and I worked at All Def Digital, they were in Culver City, and I would always be like fucking boom, boom, boom. It's the yeah. same kind of drive. And then they moved to downtown when I moved to Santa Monica, and it's just like this. You, it adds up. And I think I was driving a lot more for stand-up yep. back then, too. They'd be like, yeah. you got a gig in Temecula. All right, fuck it. I don't know where that is. Is that a place? Sure. You know? Santa Clarita. Let's do it. When are cars going to fly? Tomorrow. Well, Did you see that thing well, in Alaska where they sh- like drive cars off a cliff every 4th of July? No. There's no, a clip on that's TikTok. That's what we should have Dude, it looked pretty yards. sick. They just, like, they just like line up, not the cars, but there's people on the bottom not close to it, and they just like launch cars off a cliff, and they just applaud and watch. Dude, like, that's if, beautiful. If I lived in Alaska, I would want to be in that car. My mom's in Alaska <laughs> right now. Really? Yeah. Why? Ice her, fishing. Her and my sister are just cheating. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're on some like uh, trip or some like like biking across America. That's, type. Not, that's fucking cool. Yeah, they just randomly did it. I was like, fuck yeah, turn up. But they're there. dude, it doesn't get dark till midnight there. Can you imagine being blacked out? Dude, you're sending drunk texts in the broad daylight. Actually, that's like drinking at brunch. What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah. I dude, I I told I we did Alaska. I can't speak English. I did shows in Alaska and I remember yeah. coming out of the show being like, what the hell? Like, What's the earliest days? you think you've ever sent a drunk text or a horny text? Oh, uh fucking eleven AM probably. Damn. College. Fucking No, f- pandemic. Pandemic. I don't think I ever. <clears throat> I didn't drink that much during the pandemic. I'm sorry. Right, like, when I used to drink like during the day, oh, you go to like yeah. uh, what was it called tailgating? Oh, I'll I fucking love it. Start drinking great. at nine a.m., ten a.m. I'll fucking texting some bitch named Margaritaville to come top me <laughs> off. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make my daughter's middle name Margaritaville. It's really not bad because then we'll always get a table. What's That's your true. name under uh, Margaritaville? Margaritaville for four. That's good. What's, I, I want to go, God damn it. Here's the thing. You see somebody at Margaritaville in a Hawaiian shirt enjoying life and you go, is that the answer? It's not. <laughs> that, that guy's middle name is Happy Life, Happy Wife. I'm going to eat a gun the first time I say that. Eat it. I'm going to call my dad, send me your gun. You know my dad has a gun. <laughs> of course. I don't, know why, I don't know why I think that's so weird. If, if you knew just, exactly who my dad was, well, it's just you know weird. they're like lifestyle, and I guess it's just—is it just for breaking and entering? I think also, so. how is there not security that's just like like at my place? If you like break in, an alarm goes off because there's sensors and all this stuff, right? How is there not? And this, there's obviously a reason why there's not. And this is a dumb thing I'm going to say. But, like, let's say you know, like, okay, the side window is very susceptible to get broken into. Big word for me. Like, why don't you oh, just good. have like a fucking Maybe like a pellet gun, not like a fucking out here, but okay. But if somebody breaks in, then it just like starts popping off. 
Oh. Because because the reason <sighs> your dad probably has a gun is for breaking and entering. Right. Why don't you have a mode where somebody breaks in and then uh, they get shot with it? Then Alexa's something. like, freeze. Well, because it's going to be a, like a neighborhood cat. Do you know what I mean? Uh, now I'm sad. Yeah. You just <laughs> get you just get it up cinnamon sticks. I know. Well, that's why I preface it by this is not a good idea. No. Home uh Home Alone, the movie? Yeah. You're, How do they feel the kid? Actually, if I was a parent, I'd be forgetting kids. I'd be like, oh, that's crazy. Stay home. Yeah, Have spaghettios. Dude, are, spaghettios are the worst thing you can put in your body. They're not. This shit is made of citric acid and depression. 100 percent 100 percent There's Zoloft <laughs> in it. They need to be able to not, um, uh, what was I going to say? Home Alone, forgetting kids. My sister said the number one, uh, motherfuckers forget kids in cars all the time. Yeah. Sad. All the time. I will right. say though, like as, as I was talking about earlier with valet, you know, they're like, oh, keys are in the cup holders. I just, I'm so used to having the keys in my pocket that when I get out and I go to lock it, now I can't lock because it's in there. Yeah. But then you realize. Yeah. I mean, there's no. I don't know. <clears throat> no, I mean, well, my, my sister said when she first had kids, like, she was so fearful of that. Because you're not, you're, you're, you're you just You gotta not... put an Apple tag on them. Hilarious. She's <laughs> got a snapback monster fitted hat. You're just, right well, there, just like, it, well, right, right when you walk away, you know how you get the notification on your phone when you walk away from your... It's like, this is, you're a bad parent. You're like, oh, well, there we go. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a notification from your computer. You get a notification, hey, your kid's hot. <laughs> Whoa, can't <laughs> say that. Can you call your own kid hot? <laughs> it's part of you. It's a it's an ego stroke on your own. Right. All you're all you're doing is complimenting you and the other person. I love yeah, I love when kids are like, whoa, it's gonna be a lady killer. You're calling my son hot. My son's six. Like he is hot, but I mean you can't like <laughs> It is weird. It's so my son's gonna be a lady killer? Yeah. Or the guys that the daughters are like, yeah, hey, let me know when she's 18. Hey, 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 hey. You smell like Funyuns. Get away <laughs> from my family. Oh, yeah. We found uh, the clip of the uh, 4th of July car launch in Glacier View, Alaska. It looks Hell yeah. Oh, they right on it? That one said. This is literally what we did with your car. That one said yeah. Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on here. What in the hell? The PT Cruiser. What a dumb car that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I mean how do they launch it There's no Oh way. pollution This actually looks fun as fuck Yeah I would want to like be in the car And then parachute out Not if you live in Alaska You want to stay in it <laughs> I love the music This is This would be so fun to go to though Yeah Oh it would be awesome Oh, that's way too close to people. Yeah, I was just gonna say yeah. they got a wow. food truck. <laughs> people get shit house for this. Oh yeah, um, that would be that would be really fun to go to. That's where you meet. That's where I meet my wife. Motherfucker, my wife's a salmon <laughs> <laughs> swimming up river. You know it. I know it. Gabe, what are we doing? <laughs> Oh, I wanted to do. Uh, we have an update on something from last week. Hell oh, yeah. perfect. No, there's not a. Cut. Well, no, this isn't actually pointing out anything wrong. This is just a, a follow up. So, you guys, Michael, you were talking about having sex with a loofah. You remember that? You said, yeah, I, I take I two loofahs and and oil it down. Yeah, oil you gotta it. Fucking work. Yeah, put body lotion on it. Body wash. If you take a loofah, have you ever had sex? No. <laughs> Um, so multiple people sent this to us, but this is coming from uh, Emily, and she sent this an email to to go over this. Name. Have you ever heard of uh, the Villages in Florida? It's a uh, like a fifty five plus retirement community with like eight over eighty thousand people. Uh, what in Florida? Yeah, it's a like huge huge retirement community. Eighty thousand? Uh huh. Over eighty thousand. Yeah. Oh, hold on, fifty and up, dude. That's like up, yeah. that's like NFL wow. numbers. Yeah, dude. People, fuck. Well, so that's what we're getting into. The villages. Yeah, the villages. What, and people can we go? Yeah, we can go. We can do go do a visit. Um, but so she so Emily says, I moved from Indiana to Florida and I had heard about the villages and I heard that they had the highest STD rate in the country. Yeah, at that age. Yeah. She says, let me tell you, these old bitches fuck. Yes. Damn. Swinging is also a huge thing in the villages and people identify swinging. what level of <laughs> they swinging they are. <laughs> Uh, but she says that there's uh, they use colored loofahs on their cars and their golf carts 
to show what kind of a swinger they are. And she sent this picture. This explains yes! the <laughs> fucking telephone. So this is a uh, white is novice and beginners. That's like karate. Yeah. Yellow belt, mid, swap level. Wait. Oh, Gabe, this is they, Gabe Reed. I'm hard. Okay. So, yes, yeah, like so we've that. got also the, like that. the white standard white loofah means that you're a novice or a beginner. Right. If you've got a purple loofah, it means that you're a voyeur and, uh, and you're a person who likes to cuck. watch. Yeah. You cuck. can be a cuck with a purple loofah. Cuck. Pink means that you're into soft swapping. What, what the, the hell is that? Fuck? <laughs> you switch tapioca puddings and get fucked. <laughs> People who like to do it with others in the room. So like uh, with soft swap. I, yeah. I'd be down for. I'd be a pink boy. I actually, we'll keep reading. I'll come back to you guys on that. Yeah, uh, blue loofah means that's the lowest level of full swap. Those who can play well with others. What the fuck? There's a lot of vague things happening here. Mm-hmm. Yellow. Where do you fuck someone's mouth? Where? I think we're getting there. <laughs> Yellow is a mid-level swap. Those who want to have fun but are still a little nervous about the full swap. Black belt, black loofah, full yeah. swap. Those who say what the hell, let it all go down. Yeah. And then we've got teal, which is a bisexual loofah for those that who want to increase their dating chances. Saying I'm open. Here's open what I'm business. doing. I'm I'm using teal and black, and I'm just going <laughs> full out. Anyone and everyone can get this cockiness. Yeah, dude, let me tell you a secret, bro. If you're fucking, if you're like, whatever, if you're 60, 65, gives a shit. Yeah. I'm putting all of those in a backpack and just being like, whatever. Give me a hip pop. I'm doing a rainbow colored one. Yeah. You know, whatever you want. Whatever. That is wild. Soft swaps are so funny. Was it just it's fucking your like your lady in the room with somebody else? Yeah, maybe like you can like touch a titty or something, but not yeah. like a full. Yeah, like oh my iPhone charger tit. Yeah, that um, is wild. Oh, wow, here's a picture. I bet they be selling. I, I need to see it on a car. Oh my go. god, this minivan over here has got two yes. pink ones, so that's soft swap. Damn. Um, what, I love what do you do this. If you're, system, if you're not dude. interested in at all, just no loofah. Yeah, I guess so. You just put a loofah is so there. funny. Because that's like not something you'd ever seen outside of the house. Yeah, loofahs belong in a bag. Yeah, like, so, so. I'm trying to find out. I think this is a video. Why on the car? Wouldn't you want it on your door? I'd put it on my cock. So, yeah. Oh, so they've got <laughs> blue, purple. What does that mean? How do you, what is this, like capture the flag? You like if, take it and bring it back to the If I lived in the, the villages, I would do, what was this, where you'd put like, you do like, all right, pick a number one, two, four, and, yeah. and it would be like the point. What was that called? I don't forget. What is it? I know what I you know, mean. I know Fortune teller type thing? Uh-huh. It's like a little and piece then, of paper where you fold them. Yeah, 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 but 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 there you, you put like four fingers in it, and then you'd, every flap would just say, I'm horny. Yeah. How do they, is this just a bunch, of, this is what we need to go to sell blue chew. This is nuts. That's wild. I, I, I absolutely love, I mean, dude, the second I turn 65, I'm fuck. it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm doing heroin, and I'm fucking anything. Yeah, I am getting a hair transplant, <clears throat> but instead yep. of hair, it's going to be a loofah. Yeah. Oh, so you're just going to wear one? Yeah. I wear it as, like, earrings. Fuck my car. There you go. The car is weird, because what are you supposed to do? Rear end them? Be like, I heard you down a fuck. <laughs> it's also like, if you have two pink ones, what are you supposed to do? Like, <clears throat> sit on the hood and just wait for them to come back? Yeah. Hey, what's up? Soft swap? The loofah is just funny to me. It is funny, I, but I also assume with the car thing, you would think that like there's less eligible people driving at that age. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Can, yeah. can you go back to the photos? Yeah. Also, we'll say I think our idea of like 65 is way different. Like my da- my dad's like 69; he still jerks off. You know? <laughs> so I think like our idea, we're thinking like, oh, these people. It's are like- funny to see it on a golf cart. Like, click the one right above. Is it on here? Zoom in on these people. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna go to uh Snapchat and type in the villages and just see how popping it is over there. Oh yeah. There's eighty thousand people that live there, they'd yeah. be fucking Are you into grandmas? Like gilfs? Nah, I've tried to beat my meat to gilfs before, but I can't. I can't either. I feel I, like I'm I, jerking off to a, a like piece a wine of bag. Chalk. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on. I I want to. I've I've ambitiously typed in gilf to explore that category. I, and I, I just, um, you know what I have never typed in like a, like a, like a younger dude plowing a grandma. Maybe oh, that's what I need there. to see. It's out there. I wouldn't mind seeing. What two- color loofah is that? What's the color of cum? Here's the thing: the white one shouldn't be the. The white one should be like the. White one should be like surrender. Like I'm, I love my husband. I'm tapped out. 
But white makes sense. Novice, white belt. I guess so. Who was the first guy to put this on the car and be like, who wants to fuck? And they're like, that's a normal thing to do. Yeah. I mean. Lufa. Bill Clinton inv- invented this. Who's the I'm horniest old person you know? Horniest old person? Uh, probably myself. Do I even know? The I'm horniest so old person? My grandma I mean, I still know. beat. My grandma's like 97. Dude, I, here's the thing. Anytime I've ever like. Work you know the much? road with a like an older comedian, like done shows. I'm like these people. I did shows with one dude, and he he we were like just driving through, and he'd just be like, "Oh, I got hoes in fucking Waterloo, Tuscaloosa," and he's just name dropping cities, and I'm like, "Those aren't real places." No, nah. but he's like he like mapped it out, and, and he's like married. These older older road dog comics be out here. Yeah, They're like when I'm in town, I just send a quick little hot mail message, and it's on. <laughs> it's on. So those are the guys, the oldest. I don't know. I don't God know. Damn. It's uh. It's, I don't even know if my dad still has sex. He, I I want to get him on the podcast and I'll ask him. Get him on the show. Actually, I don't know if I can know that. What do do I want to know? Yeah, of course you want to know. I, I think know. about my grandma. She's ninety seven or ninety eight. I can't really remember. The amount of cock. <laughs> Just I mean, think about the sheer numbers of that. You know, I mean, it's so many years on the earth. Just taking D I C K. Yeah. It's a lot. She might be in the guilt category. My grandma's a pretty hot old lady. Shot. That's the nicest woman in the world. God, she makes the fuck out of a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's wild. It's like, it's wild. You get everything bagel. How do you bagel? think she got all that cock? Huh? How do you think she got all that cock? Oh, yeah. Bagels. Bagels. Bagels are phenomenal. That's the thing I miss the most about being gluten-free. People are like, oh, if you could have one day where you could just eat all the... All the flour, all the wheat. What would it be? Bagel. Really? I had one today. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> just a good buttered bagel from like a nice spot. Crunchy. You would just do a butter bagel? That's how I'd start my day. Yeah. Then I'd fuck a bread bowl. There you go. <laughs> from the back end with a goddamn teal loofah. I love it. What is this loofah system? Let's go. I, I'm just going to start putting on people's cars and just see where it goes from there. Uh, yeah, I'm into... I mean, I, yeah, I think I want to watch. I think I just want to be in the corner. Why? I, I just want, I want to dip my toes in it. I just want to be in the corner. Like a lifeguard? Yeah. Like a, just, you know, just like a ref. Lifeguards are cuck for lives. You're just living life and just watch it. You ever seen an ugly lifeguard? You're like, you're in the wrong profession. Honestly, no. You never seen an ugly one? Mm, probably. The ones at the, the beach? The YMCA? Yeah. But the ones at the beach where I vacation, all of them bad. But there's a couple where I'm like, sir, no. Absolutely not. You're like choking him to make out of you. You're like, yeah, okay, okay. That's it. Yeah. We're back. We're back. We're good. Your body's like, it looks like a fucking bag of leaves. <laughs> you can't be a lifeguard like that. You gotta be hot. If I'm getting saved, I'm gonna be tongue down by a hot man. I'll wake up. Before How do you feel when you see like a mall security and you're like, I could beat this guy's ass? Every time. <laughs> Every time I think about that. There was this nutso guy. I was in uh, my gym. God, was LA Fitness. And this dude was losing his mind. Like, just like one of those. He's a, 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 a pure crazy person. Like, jacked, but pure crazy. Him. Like, just but like yelling, like, political stuff across. the. It's like, what's happening? Just like, he's just an insane person. And the security guard went to go get him out. Security guard weighed, like, 130. And the security goes, you need to get out. And he goes, no. Just, just pure no. Yeah. That that's all I got. They got one round of that's like I feel like stepdad energy when they start counting and you're like, oh yeah, Gerald, where's this gonna go? Yeah, you're not my dad. Keep counting. Did your parents count for you? One, two. No, I never got counted. Really? No. Gabe? I can't remember. Never been counted. No? Mm-hmm. Jack? Yeah. They counted? My dad, he would he would he wouldn't like you'd be scared to like commit to like beating my ass. So he'd be like, one. Two, two and a half. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. What's up, dude? <laughs> yeah, two and th- You hit the two, two and three, three quarters. You hit the two, two and, and three seven quarters. Eights. Yeah. You two the- and one point sixteenth. That's it. No, you, you don't, you don't want to beat my ass. I want my dad to want to beat my ass. That means you love me. You think? Yeah, if you just let me fucking do whatever I want, you don't love me. Oh, right. Yeah. That's true. All right, guys. It's that time. Secret sock time. Whoa. It is? It's, it's not a secret if you say it. 
Whoa. That's true. I mean, is it secret soccer or is what it a, Why would people say that in like the playground? Like secrets don't make friends. I feel like they do. They 100% do. Like this. if I tell you a secret, you're not my friend. Well, if I tell you a secret, we're going to commiserate on the secret. You said come. <laughs> <laughs> the most beavis and butthead moment I've ever had in my life. <laughs> All right. All right. What is it, Gabe? Talk. Anonymous submission. Let's, uh, let's keep it on theme here. Uh, right. This says, I've slept with my buddy's mom and his grandma. Should I tell him? Uh, yeah. Fuck a family tree. He got that family D. Damn it. Dude, he fucked his buddy's mom what and was grandma. First? He climbed the ladder. Hold up. What was first, though? It's a good question. He doesn't say, actually. Dude, that's not your buddy. You hate that guy. <laughs> that's, you're literally, if that that's, guy listens to this podcast, guess what? Secrets don't make friends. They don't. Secrets, case, secrets, they're no fun. They can really hurt someone, dude. There it is. Yes. Also, that is wild. Huh? You, dude, he fucked his... Dude, I, <laughs> do you live in a town, population six? Go find someone else. It is crazy to, to hit, like, get it with the mom. Be like, yo, that shit was so fire. I got to find out who made this. 100%. I got. I fucked this vagina. Let me find out where this girl came <laughs> out of. You ever seen those guys, this, like, usually viral videos on TikTok? They go to, like, a fucking McDonald's. Like, yo, who the fuck made this shit? Everyone's looking. They're like, because it is delicious. I think that's what <laughs> happened. He got a nut off with the mom. He's like, who produced this mom? This shit is delicious. And then Ethel's like, I, uh, over here, I have a yellow loofah. <laughs> Let me tell you something, though. Uh, fucking older women, they be wearing uh, dentures. And? Take them out. <laughs> Take them I'm out. I'm so dumb. I almost said that's like a fleshlight. What the fuck is wrong with me? It is. It's literally pretty much a fleshlight. Yeah, but like the fleshlight came after dentures. Correct. Dentures. Think about this. The first, like the first like elderly lady was making romance with her husband. Yep. Or a friend of a friend here. Yep. And like she like went to like spit her in her hand and the teeth came falling out. And then she went to go pick him up off the ground. And then Seymour was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. We don't need those. Leave them out. Leave them out. Oh man. You ever fuck a girl so hard her dentures fall out? Twice. That means you won. That's like a carnival game. They so, they hand you a uh, large yeah, teddy but bear. I I think you would see the face without the teeth, and you'd be like, "Oh, put put like three back in, but just like the the molars, <sighs> just three up front." <sighs> Looks like getting sucked off in Fresno. Hold up, dude. There was because that teeth. There was. A, <laughs> I love Fresno. Please don't come for me. There was this one uh, video I saw. I think on Instagram with this woman. I uh, little Instagram. Duvall, little Duvall put it on. Oh, okay. And it was literally this this woman that was like yelling with her husband next to her, being like, "Y'all better not DM me." And she was like a a two. It was the funniest thing ever. Oh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because she had one tooth, <laughs> and she was yelling in the phone, "Don't DM me." I love the thought of just holding on to one tooth. You're like, it's just me and this boy right here. It's literally, she literally had two teeth. Turn two, up. Yeah, good for her. Fuck a toothbrush. I'd use that as a coat hanger. You, <laughs> I'd use it to open up tuna cans. Shotgun ever, a beer. Huzzah! Yeah. You ever go to sleep and not brush your teeth? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just an, it's a, it's an adult feeling to me. You taste it in the morning. Oh, it's bad in the morning. Yeah. You know it's what the like worst thing is? hot carpet. In, yeah. The worst taste in the morning besides probably a lot of things is, is when you drink, don't brush your teeth, and then wake up. That is the worst. Oh, oh, drinking the night before. Yeah, drinking the night before. Oh, and you just go to sleep yeah. and wake it up. And then maybe you had like had a cigar. Ugh. Cigar afterwards. That's a ugh. tastes like ground up pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds underrated. I can give you that. Underrated. Every time I go into a goddamn gas station, I'm like, oh, I have uh, fucking cashews. No, cashews suck. Wow, they don't suck. <laughs> you better take that back. My dad was a cashew. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, any last remarks? Congratulations on beating the record. I beat it by I a lot. I think it's fraud. Yeah, it's kind I think of you're on PEDs. Whoa! Well, I think we need. We really need to. If we want this to be a real sport that takes off, we need to set those ground rules. Yeah. And the, I, you know, all this pre-stretching, all that—that's too much. You gotta. We gotta find a way to make it even. All right. Well, we need to set rules. How are you gonna get hard and wet if you don't have her suck your pee, Niall? I Just think, some strokes? I, I mean, it seemed, the simplest way to do it is rather than start timing from pre penetration, do whatever you need to do and go from beginning yeah, of, I guess of, that's of true. action. It, How the times are going to be longer. Yeah, so but, it's like you, you're you like both in like a three-point stance and then you're all right, and go. Start yeah. making out with your lady. Yeah. Start getting ready. Zipping it down. Zip, 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 zip. Yeah, right. 
That way, like, Preheat you, it. you might just say, fuck it, I'm going to save some time on foreplay, just go in flaccid, you know? What? <laughs> oh, hold up. Go in flaccid. Dude, there's been there's been some drunk nights where I'm shoving my balls in the <laughs> vagina. <laughs> God, when you when you know you're not up enough to do anything, but you're like, oh, it'll it'll p- sturdy up when it's in there. Yeah, and it doesn't. Willie, Willie, oh, do you ever have a feeling you're like, oh, I might be soft, and you look down, and it's not. No. Oh, I have. When I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm fully, and I look down, and I go, no, I'm good. Never had that. Really? Mm-mm. Anyone? Nah. Jack? No. Son of a fuck. I think Why do you I just think I, lost all feeling from your waist down. I think it's because I was using numbing cream and I have no idea what's happening. Yeah. It's so funny. Numbing cream is like if you chopped your arm off and you go, I have an arm. You have no idea. You can't feel anything. Oh, yeah. It's really fun. It's fun to like... It, you, Did you put it on anything else like your elbow or something? No. You just never come. It's awesome. Ever? I mean, at the end, you have to like will it out. Will? <laughs> what does that mean? Like will it out, like with your like sheer will. Mm. Do you know what I'm talking about yet? No, nope. no, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> will it out? Like willpower, like willpower, yeah, gumption. Will Smith it out? Hold up, Slap hold it up, out. gumption. Let me get a cup of that. That sounds awesome. Cup of gumption, ice gumption, ice gumption. I want ice I coffee. Know. Fuck. I want shave ice. That sounds great. So good. I'm be eating it right now. Boom. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, YouTube? All right, guys. That's a freaking episode. That's a podcast. Number two in the new stew. What's up? Turn up. Merch Turn drop. Up. August 1st. You already know the fucking deal, dude. I'm wearing... I think this one's going to sell a lot. This little cream boy. It looks It, it looks he, so clean. Pockets he. Stiff socks. Boom. Incognito. It is incognito because the writing's not crazy. It looks good. But, but if you know, you know. And I'm wearing this, what would you say, this cash money shirt? It's like rapper, kind of like cash money record style, stiff socks. It's super hard. And it's going to look even better uh, on the full prints when we do it. Yep. This was just a sample, but they're going to look so good. Guys, uh, merch shop, August 1st. Looked out for that. Uh, Patreon gets it the day before. Um, Speaking of Patreon, friendly reminder, we have a Patreon. Four extra episodes a month for only $5. Drops every Friday, ad-free. Um, we have iconic episodes and access to the Discord. We also have Stiff Stocks Plus, which is just the bonus episodes, but just the audio version. So for all the Apple people that don't want to, you know, dabble with the Patreon, you can do that. And speaking of, we're going to play a little clip from last week's Patreon bonus episode. Give it to him, Gabe. This is an article from the New York Post, and the headline is, I bought my husband a sex doll that looks just like me. <laughs> now we have threesomes. Hot. Well, there's a difference <laughs> in the robot's bosom size, I'm noticing. She's way shorter. Should we watch this video? Of course. I hope it's them fucking it. Is it not? And from London area. My name's Callum Black. I am 28, and I'm also from the London area. And this is D, our sex doll. Oh, D. I wonder why. <laughs> Combing her hair, fucking her. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? This is weird. This is weirder than them fucking it. Third person into the relationship, but I get jealous, so we compromise. <laughs> this bitch. This bitch talks like an umbrella. <laughs> four and a half years ago now. I'm a genius. Fucking genius. Hey, mom. It's each to their own. She makes us very happy, and. We don't think we're doing any harm to anyone else with that. So if it makes you happy, just do it. What in? D is such an important part of our sex life. <laughs> everyday life. The editing um, in this is she's wild. She's involved in our work, which is only fans. What and, camera is she um, looking all at? All of our subscribers, they love her. They love seeing all videos with her and pictures. From sitting down watching a film together to just sitting and joining us. This guy just came. He's so relaxed. <laughs> well, look at look at what it says. It says, "A wife struggle." Let me. Oh my god! Oh, they're watching fucking Homeward Bound. Shut the fuck up. It says a wife struggling with her husband's high libido. Mm-hmm. That's sex you know, drive. I know that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you libido. No, no. What's what is libido? A mean? cereal. <laughs> it's your sex drive. There you go. Yeah, I forgot one of those. Um, but sh- she's like, oh, he's too horny all the time, so she just got that to shut him up. How fun would that be if you're like, like you just kept asking a fuck and your girl's like, here's a flashlight. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. 1800 Yeah, 1800 bucks. I'll pay $1,800 right now to see these tits. <laughs> I really would. I would like to watch them fuck it together. 
<laughs> that sex doll's feet who's, are wait, who's, up. Oh, <clears throat> please tell me the sex dolls are on the right. Mm. The ones on the left look like a plume and onion. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sex doll. They do kind of look like a, like a sea anemone. Like the thing that's floating in the water and going back and forth. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that looks like Michael would just pop them off real quick, the dip one, them in some blue cheese and call it a night. <laughs> one to the right, though. Hold it up. Yeah. Talk about blue chewed. Um, all right, so he was too horned up. She, first of all, the ego in that's crazy. If I said I'm too horned up and my girl buys me a replica doll of her, I'd be like, yo, I already have you. Give me something new. What would you want? Like the girl her from best friend? Oh. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, $1,800 for a full sex doll isn't crazy. I don't know how much how much sex dolls are no The sex robots were... Whoa, what's happening here? Why are they plugging her Instagram? Should, should, they should. Must be, yeah, oh yeah. See, they have they have an OnlyFans. So they probably yeah. oh, bang they the sex doll on, on the OnlyFans. Hold up. You want me to see if I can find it? Yes. All right, I'll come how back. How much is it? Should we pay for it real quick? Yes. We bought a sex doll as OnlyFans? Title. Please. Title, we'll put it on the front door. Oh, you should buy the sex doll or buy the OnlyFans? What? We should buy the OnlyFans oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of this doll. Yes, 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 yes. How much got to be? Three dollars? It's five bucks. Yeah. I don't know. Speaking but... of five bucks. Oh, you guys already bought the Patreon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you trying to plug Patreon to Patreon? Damn. That's um, wild. Let's do it. The I want to do it. The on that's got to be so sad. The what? The, the post nut. You oh, nut on it. a robot doll and then it falls on the ground and it just sounds like a wetsuit hitting the floor. Or he's like, good. That's somebody, how... somebody, wetsuit, funny. <laughs> Or what? Or that's kind of like the dream. That sex doll's not mouthy. It just sits on the ground. Wait for you to come on it. It's great. What You know how Keurig store all the pods in the back? Uh-huh. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Imagine, what if it just had a nut container in the back? Yeah, where does it not go? Just in there? And you got to clean it out? The cleanout for a that's full sex doll's wild. That's what I'm saying. The cleanout's like, you got to get in there with a the fucking hose. You got to get that dentist tool. Yeah, goddamn, you know, like, imagine just being outside hosing the thing down, and your neighbor's like, hey, Jim, you're like, hello! They talk so dumb. Who? Go ahead. Those Question. two idiots, they're talking to Jimmy Kirby. Question, should, Whoa, our, should our OnlyFans account name be Stiff Socks Pod or Not Stiff Socks Pod? So that no one knows it's not us. Not Stiff Socks Pod. <laughs> not Stiff Socks Pod. That's good. Do Cumboy 44. <laughs> yeah, 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 That's yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have made that my AOL back in the day. Cumboy? Cumboy 44. God, AOL made me so Wait, so Cumtown's not a podcast anymore, are they? Um, they are uh, just uh, what's Star the name? Is, yeah, Star Wars. So are we the biggest come podcast? Yeah. Congratulations, guys! Wait, on OnlyFans, you can't put "come boy" <laughs> as your uh, as it has a restricted word. You can't put "come" in your name on OnlyFans. I are you kidding one. me? You can fuck a golden doodle, but you can't write "come." <laughs> That's so weird. But well, OnlyFans is like one of those apps that they're like, yeah, we don't see ourselves like that. This is a place for creators to express their side behind a paywall. You can shove Legos in your ass legally. <laughs> yeah. The reason you can't, uh, uh, this is, I can't believe you can't write cum boy. I can't believe it. Well, maybe those two words together are a little weird. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try cum man. Cum man? <laughs> yeah. That would be my superhero name, cum man. What would you shoot out of your hands? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Come Man 69 is available. How is that available? Come How Boy is 44? Come Man 69 available? I wish I could just change my Instagram name to Come Boy 44. You can. You can. Done and done. Oh, no, they won't let me do that either. Oh, my God. Just write, just write a little boy, say <laughs> <laughs> What would you do if it said this account name is already taken? <laughs> FBI immediately. I'm going to grab water. We can't leave. We're, we're recording. <laughs> We're recording. Entertained. All right. All right. I'm back in. I got water. I'm horned up. I'm bricked up. All right. Tiny you guys ready? Up. I'm about yep. to subscribe. Pull it up. Oh, $6.25 a month. Here we go. Okay. God damn it, dude. Inflation's going off. Okay. It's like a cold brew these days. We are paying. Why am I not hard yet? All right. We're in. Where's the doll? This is the first OnlyFans we've ever bought. Yeah. Yeah, as a unit. Okay. Oh, Here we great go. Great start. Action. There she is. Great so, start. Is it the doll or the woman? That's the one. Wait. Sex doll. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 pretty okay. good. Interesting. Okay. Hope you enjoy the little highlight. You can see full episodes in every Friday. Brand new episode ad free. Dude, it's on patreon.com backslash Stiff Socks Pod or Apple Podcast Stiff Socks Plus. You just open the podcast app. You'll see it right there. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm coming in your room.
Uh-oh. Not like that. And Sif Sox, uh Plus is just the audio version. Just to let you guys know. That's it. Goodbye. Good night. Love Good you. Tomorrow. Good morrow.